You know, here's the thing, is I totally meant to not use that song. <clears throat> I meant to use this one here. Play. Now, why would I choose this song? It is completely not my style. And, um, and I think that's why. I think that's why. So, it's Bob Bell's Timeline, and I am broadcasting live, and, and uh, whether or not it shows that on Facebook right now, I have no idea. But uh, either way, I'm going to take a sip of microwaved coffee. Yep. Nothing quite like the disappointment of microwaved coffee. So, I am actually broadcasting this program from the... A Spreaker online app on my Chromebook and so this is a test and I have no idea how it's gonna sound and what's a little annoying I gotta say is that uh, I can't hear myself <laughs> title of this program and it's not because I have a well thought out plan for uh, what I'm going to say on this program uh, by any stretch of the imagination um, just to sort of comment I guess and, and you know and I gotta say this is not because I think that anyone cares about my commentary because I don't even care about it I don't even know what I'm gonna say I just decided I uh, I've been working literally all day on uh, various projects, which who knows, maybe I'll talk about them in this program, maybe I won't. Um, working on these uh, uh, projects all day and just decided that I needed a break and uh, to do something that would be fun. I have uh, taken the dog out several times already today, so that fun has been had. One moment while I sip a little bit more coffee. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yesterday was the day that uh, here in Marina del Rey we had the big fish kill. Now, if you're not familiar with what we're talking about, it's not like some party, like a fish fry, where people come over and, you know, all on purpose. You put a bunch of, you know, appropriately dead fish uh, in some batter and uh, then dip that all in uh, hot oil, cook it, and eat it. See, that's a fish fry. No, what we were talking about is a fish kill. And uh, it is not something that we as uh, humans did. Oh, but you might be saying, didn't we, Bob? Didn't we do that to the fish? Well, that is, that is exactly where all this conspiracy piece lives. You know, if I was uh, on a, if I was, uh, had a Skype situation going, if you had an opinion on this, you know what? Oh, I don't have my phone with me. That would have been a fun thing to do, right? Take calls via Skype over my phone. Uh, we could try it if you're listening and you want to play. Uh, there's a chat window, I think, somewhere here on this um, page if you followed it through to the speaker page. I'm not sure. I'm going to say, hi, I'm here, and see what happens. Um, so, yes, we are listening. You are listening to the Bob Doyle Timeline Show, and right now the little icon that pops up has uh, me and Lynn Rose on it because Spreaker... It, that's how it works. Um, every show can have its own icon. <clears throat> this is not what I uh, started this show to talk about. So, the yes, the conspiracy uh, things that have been flying around since yesterday about, uh, you know, the, the, the line is it was a lack of oxygen and there's all this science around it. There's these algae blooms that... Um, if that all happens, then it sucks oxygen from the water, and then there were too many fish in there because of whatever. And it's, uh, you know, so it's sciency. And I heard some other people today talking uh, who are saying, you know, who, who have basically grown up by the water, and they're saying, you know, if, if people understood, you know, marine biology a little bit, they'd know that this is not such a big deal. One moment, coffee time. But immediately upon posting that video, and then as it uh, propagated, um, um, 
you know, the, 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 we heard, oh, it's radiation, or it is uh, Navy testing, uh, global warming, whatever it is, um, there was a blaming of man on it. And of course, I have no way of knowing. I'm happy to accept the scientific definition uh, and be blissfully ignorant. But, uh, I mean, it was, I got to say, it was pretty pretty unnerving to walk out yesterday morning and walk down by the water and just see all these fish. And the thing is, they're saying thousands of fish, you know, like thousands of fish. And I'm like, there's thousands of fish right in front of our apartment. There's have to have been millions of these anchovies. It was just, they were everywhere. I don't, and how do they know? Who was counting the fish? Whose job is that? And what do they do the rest of the year when they're not doing that? Do they count other things? Are they just an official counter? You know, hey, there's a lot of pelicans in Basin B. Go count them so we can tell the news. Hey, 14 dozen pelicans. But I'm telling you, there's no way uh, whoever was hired to count counted them all. Because there were millions. And that's all I have to say on that. So... Uh, whatever the, the whatever the truth is, perhaps we will know. Perhaps we shall never know because that's the way they want it. Um, but in the meantime, pelicans, uh, a lot of pelicans just kind of sitting out in the water this morning, just in the middle of things, just sort of waiting to see, and then they all just sort of flew off together. So the birds are still hanging out, kind of seeing what's happening. Uh, it is starting to smell a little bit. And I hope that's not some precursor like, well, I remember when I said, beginning to smell a little bit, and now it's month seven of the rotting and decaying flesh smell. Uh, if Lynn were here right now, she'd be very upset that I created that as a scenario. Uh, but she's not. She's at the California Women's Conference, uh, actually, uh, for ten more minutes. And then she'll probably still be at the California Women's Conference because... You know, it's Lynn, so that means she has to say hello to, uh, I think today would be C through E. People with the last names C through E. Uh, yeah, so anyway, okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about the dead fish. Now, the other conspiracies part of this program. Well, I'd love to say that I had a list of five to six that I'd like to get covered today, but unfortunately I only have zero. I did not at all think about uh, any other conspiracies because that's really not my thing. I don't, I don't really enjoy uh, uh, that whole thing. Although there are some uh, uh, ideas that most that probably a lot of people would say is conspiracy that I probably do go along with, uh, especially in the health industry. But that's all I'm going to say. I really don't have any strong opinions uh, that I discuss with people. You will. Uh, those who know me know that I am not a discusser of strongly opinionated, uh, strongly, strongly. What is the word I'm looking for? But that's probably why I don't do it. But I'm not like a big debater of uh, of ideas. Certainly, like politics and things like that. I've never debated even the law of attraction with people. It's just, and I think it's because there was a time in my life when I just I loved the debate. I loved the argument. I loved to get things riled up, and then. Uh, you know, it's funny, I think I actually, so I really used to like that, and now I just absolutely can't stand it. And um, and, I, and I'm thinking back on when that might have turned, and I think it was because, and this was way, I know you, you're all like, tell us, tell us, hold on, let me get a piece of paper, all right, I'll give you, I'll give you 15 seconds or so. Oh, you know what, you can listen to this replay whenever you want, so I don't really have to wait right now and just get right into the action. Um, back before the internet was really even something that people were doing, it was all about BBSs or bulletin board systems, right? And a lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but it was just a precursor to the internet, these sort of online networks, and there were, you know, there was chat and discussion of various ideas and things like that. Um, and I was part of a radio one because I was in radio at the time, and I was working for a guy who his whole bit was to rile people up and uh, cause controversy, uh, controversy. I was going to say controversial issues, and then I chickened out and said controversy instead, which is uh, not really a word. 
now I'm, I'm losing track of where I was going. Oh, yes, uh, working for this guy, it was all about riling up the crowd just to get a reaction. And, uh, and so I would get on the bulletin board systems and like argue with, because people had very strong opinions about the guy. They either got it um, or they hated him. And so I thought, I always thought it was fun to get in there and just argue with people who didn't like him or wanted to. And I just, I guess I think I got a really just nasty, put me in my place kind of uh, uh, email response or, you know, a message posting. And I, I just remember the feeling of being really embarrassed and uh, also like really realizing that, you know what, every, everybody's opinions are valid. And I don't need to force mine on anybody. And if I uh, find people who share my opinion or want to hear my opinion or are open to my opinion, I will share it to the point where it's comfortable and you know feels natural. But I will not be pushing an agenda on anyone. And uh, and that has served me well <laughs> since I took that on. Okay, so. If you're listening, which, you know, why would you? Because it's one of these things, like, again, I don't even know if it showed up. But I'm going to go over to Facebook right now and see if this showed up uh, as being broadcast or not. Uh, it is. Dead Fish and Other Conspiracies. And it has me and Lynn's picture. And that's it. So it's there. It's just that none of you are listening. But that's okay. I can handle it. I just wanted to make sure it was there. But I need to change that picture because that's... It's a goofy picture the way it's uh, cropped. All right, anyway, so so you do have the ability to listen to me. You're just choosing not to. Well, that's okay. But if you are, or if you do, there is a chat box. And I just really would love to see it light up one day. One of these days when I'm doing this, if somebody had an opinion like, I think you should stop the show, that kind of opinion, you can just type that right in, and then I get it. Anyway. So, but I also am curious about listening back to the replay of this, not because of the stellar content, <laughs> the well-planned, uh, strategically laid out content that is what you've been listening to, uh, but because I'm curious about the sound quality of this Chromebook microphone, just to see how uh, fun and important. I mean, I could always do this on, on uh, my iPhone, and it probably would sound better. I wanted to use this because it has the, you know, the sort of the uh, control panel, the DJ interface with the audio and that kind of stuff. I was going to get sound effects up in here. I guess I can kind of do that in the background. Um, this is the kind of thing that if I was to talk about doing this during the Fun with Bob and Lynn show, then I would get chastised. Um, so let's see. I'm going to now put on the headphones again so I can see if you're actually hearing any of this. So. So I don't know if you heard that uh, cheering or not, um, but this time I'll add it to the uh, library, and now I'm pretty sure that, yeah, maybe, okay, all right, thank you ladies and gentlemen, now be quiet, uh, all right, take these back off, and we are back, folks, um, talking about uh, dead fish and other conspiracies, which we've already decided we do not have other conspiracies. So I had moved on to uh, something else, and then I decided to check the sound effects and have totally derailed myself. But you know, there are worse things that could happen. I, I did actually was actually thinking about uh, talking about something else. Um, so yes, I've been working today on a couple of different things uh, that are business related. One of them is. Uh, um, getting to ready to launch a big sort of VIP day opportunity where I'll be working with people on conceptualizing a business, actually helping them get in and build their website and just really sort of a fast track build your business type of one-on-one uh, -on -one thing. And that's taken quite some time to put together, create, getting a nice video created for that. And then the uh, other one is uh, I've been doing uh, audio meditations for quite some time, many years and um, putting together sort of a bundle of them for the people who follow me sort of on my in my Law of Attraction world of all of our uh, meditations for what low price? Uh, seriously, taking 90% 90, 90 off. Anyway, the point is I've been working on all of those things. So it's been sort of a lot of web page work and writing of emails and just sort of uh, 
you know, that kind of thing. And so it's hard to sometimes walk away from that because you just want to get it complete. And there's so many little moving pieces that you just want to sit down and get them all done at one time, which makes breaks feel, you know, like, oh, I really can't take a break because then I'm going to lose momentum and all of that. So, but I did uh, reach a break point, not a breaking point. It would have become one, though, had I not taken a break. Maybe that's why they call it that. Did you ever think of that, Sid? Oh, wait, there's no one here named Sid, so um, that's probably why he didn't respond. Um, going back to the uh, the uh, speaker control console, looking again for um, you know, just sound effects. Now, you'll, if you listen to uh, Fun with Bob and Lynn, you'll know that I actually am not a fan of using sound effects in the show. At least that's my official position on it because it's very, uh, you know, FM radio, uh, FM morning radio from back in the day with the zoo shows and stuff. And for all I know, they're still, they're still doing that. I just, um, uh, I don't know if they are or not <clears throat> because I don't listen to it, but I can still make fun of it. All right. So I'm actually uh, adding a couple of more little sound effects here as I talk and then I will put on my headphones and uh, see what's uh, playing. <laughs> Thank you. So, mm -hmm. all right, so, so the key is, uh, well, the question is, and I won't know the answer to this until after I uh, listen back, is the quality of these, of this laugh here. Does it sound like I'm in a, it's in the same, does it sound like a recording or does it even the least bit sound like I'm talking in the same room as these? Okay, kids, say that again. Okay, all right, so that's about it. Yes, that would be a great opportunity for me to quit and uh, end this show. And I'm going to keep that in mind for when I decide to do that. I would have loved to have gone 30 minutes, but um, I truly obviously had nothing uh, to talk about other than fish for a few minutes and then what I did today. And I really, we don't need another what I did today show out there, do we? No, what I really need is to get it set up the way that I'm supposed to, and that is so that we can take calls via Skype and I can hook up uh, cross country with uh, guests of all kinds on this, the uh, Bob Doyle Timeline Broadcast, brought to you by Spreaker and easily located on iTunes uh, by going to iTunes and, uh, I don't know, clicking around and doing a search on Bob Doyle, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, but yes, I do know that you can subscribe to this podcast. Now, there aren't that many of these, I can tell you, but there's a lot of them with uh, Fun with Bob and Lynn or Happy Hour with Bob and Lynn or On the Road with Bob and Lynn. Lots of Bob and Lynn's that you can um, subscribe to over at iTunes. And that'd be darn neighborly of you if you did. And then tell all your friends and family, hey, there's this show that these two do. Uh, you never know when it's going to happen. And they really don't talk about too much. You should check it out. Um, no, actually, as I say this, uh, I am probably going to almost immediately upload the last show that Lynn and I did. We did one last uh, week. Uh, well, actually, what, three days ago. And uh, I thought it was one of our most fun. And I couldn't wait to upload it. And she's like, no, we don't do anything, you know, which is the point. Um, there's no heavy message. We don't get into really long stories. Either one of us is just kind of a dang a dang a dang a dang a dang and It seems like we go for like 40 minutes or something. But it's a little, it's just fun. It's like what I want the show to be. But I keep forgetting that it's still on my phone. Because we generally, if we're mobile at all, we'll record it first. Because if you are broadcasting a program on Spreaker live and you lose signal, well, goodbye show. So, and that's happened to us before. So sometimes we just record it first. Other times we record it because we go, is this going to suck or is this going to be decent? And uh, we do have several in drafts that have not been sent. Um, but I'm committed to one day having them all sent. But it's kind of got to like go back and listen. And uh, go, really? Is that one out there? Okay. All right. Well, 
I think I'm going to just end this uh, right now at 20 minutes. Which is to be the the 20 minutes uh, sampler of the uh, Bob Doyle Timeline program and this terrible, obnoxious choice of music in the background. I, I mean, no offense to the musicians who wrote it, it's just for me, this was a terrible choice. And yet I continue to play it. Oh, it, and it sings too. See, I don't know why they put... You know, so that was gonna. I was gonna end the show, but right now I'm just disgusted. Does they have? This is supposed to be music for intros and outros. Why would you have? This isn't songs to play and feature artists. Why would you have there? You'd be limited to their little library. No, you could upload what you wanted. To. Point is, the songs that they provide should be bumper music, not you know whatever. I guess there's people who use the words too with their, they talk up to the pose, we'll be right back after the da, 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 bang and then the guy sings. I remember those days but you know it's just not really, no it's still going I, I, I alright I guess I'm going to just go back to this uh, old standby for now which was fun for me at one point because it was guitar and ukulele but now it's just dorky and I hear it on the hit behind everybody's online videos and I'm over it, you know what I'm saying? So all right, my friends and family <clears throat> and uh, adoring, adoring fans. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make it the best of your day. And I'll see you next time on some Spreaker-related channel. <laughs>